Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. All right, Virgo, this is a channel also for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you're new, please do click the subscribe button if you like what you hear here. Um, and yeah, be mindful, you guys, that these messages, I put the readings out daily. Um, so be mindful that not every message here will be for you. Some may be, some may not be, but I'm so grateful you're tuning in. All right, you guys, I know you got some drama, some love drama. So let's see what the messages are. Um, we're going to do a Celtic cross spread for July, 2022. All right, Virgo, Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What are Virgo's love messages? What do they need to know? What's coming towards them? Okay. So, past position. Oh, let me put this so you can see it. King of Pentacles. Present. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, crossing you is the Five of Cups. Driving the reading. Queen of Swords. Okay. Crowning is Page of Wands. Coming towards you is the Two of Pentacles. Position of you and your advice, the Ten of Cups. External to you is the Chariot. Hopes and fears, the tower, and ending the reading with the Queen of Cups and Justice. Okay, bottom of the deck, Virgo. Here you are, little R and R, relaxation, chilling out, recovery, retreat, withdrawal. In July, um, maybe not speaking. Some of you could be um, like, there's quite. It's not really quiet. It's just more like unavailable. Some of you are just in this unemotionally available state like you don't want to talk about your feelings maybe or you're just keeping to yourself i feel now fours can be about foundation and structure some of you are building in silence a foundation okay you're doing something behind the scenes well i wouldn't say behind the scenes i just feel like you're taking a time out for some reason now let's see okay you've got the wheel oh here's a high priestess <laughs> Yeah, you've got like things are changing. I feel like you're There's something I feel like in July Virgo something is turning in your favor and you're not seeing any you're not saying anything to anyone about this. Yeah, the high priestess you're keeping quiet. You're being very hush hush. You've got some kind of secret that you're not sharing with anyone and this has to do with this magician energy this this has to do with some type of your manifest or something's manifesting in your life you're creating something you've got the six of cups um so some of you may be um some of you maybe want to are thinking about pat thinking about the past you might be recovering or healing from a past kind of uh love type of situation are just not talking about it manifesting new in your life you're i feel like you're going through some type of transition or healing and the ace of wands is here so yeah you're definitely trying to get your inspiration back or you're becoming more inspired i feel like it's your your quiet time or your private time where you're really not communicating with anybody is where you're gaining your your inspiration for the things that you want to do Okay, um, Four of Cups as well. Yeah, you got a surprise. You're going to be sharing a surprise. Um, <laughs> Virgo, you've got something going on here that you're not telling anybody about. And you're going to keep it hush-hush and under wraps. And then come out with it. And I feel like everybody, that, look, you've got karma here. It's going to be like, you're going to be waking people up. Yep, you've been hiding with this moon you're not saying anything whatever you have going on i mean this wheel of the year is profound it feels like a, a major shift is happening in your life maybe you're uh you're coming into something big in july and some of you are already aware you already know about whatever this is or you're you've been putting plans into place with the magician manifesting things but you're not coming out with it just yet in july okay so let me see. I want to get some clarity because you have the past position, the King of Pentacles. So I feel like for you, very stable in the past, 
very focused on your money your wealth okay the past could have been yesterday it could have been your whole life at some point from the time you're listening to the reading going backwards so let me see here okay yeah so you've got the seven of wands really protecting you you were in protective mode okay i'm just very focused on your coin maybe protecting your coins um or protecting everything uh, protecting self um, I feel like there may have been people places or things in the past that were tugging at you or trying to get at you okay and at some point it seems like you just said you know what I'm I'm not letting anybody in. you're not letting you weren't letting anybody in in the past you were just like nope nope you yep look four Pentacles so this is kind of like I'm holding on to what's mine hold you know like that's like a shield over the most um vulnerable parts of your body um for some of you this is just like trying not to get hurt blocking closing up again with a four becoming as stable could be just as simple as holding on to your money or your wealth and you know saving and not spending you know maybe you <laughs> you're browsing on the internet and Amazon pops up and then you're like, Oh, I want to buy this. I wanted to buy this. And you said, no, no, I got to save. I got to save. Okay. So whatever the energy is for some of you, this was really in a, in a love situation, really protecting your heart. Okay. Um, and it feels like a defensive energy as if you didn't want anyone to pierce your heart. You, you were just so guarded. so guarded self-defense okay some of you might have even just hardened yourselves to the point where i don't know if you were in a relationship where you needed to protect yourself um but this feels like a lot of shielding a lot of shielding in the past now the present energy is the ace of pentacles so hmm. okay this is so strange um so there's definitely a new opportunity that's going to be presented to you let me take a look and see this is interesting I, because in the past you were already presented with um some type of golden opportunity in the past that you held on to but okay wait give me a second but now it's being given to you again i feel oh okay so they're saying um you're trading in that old rusty shield for a new one i feel like you're virgo listen i feel like you you're having a hard time dealing with some grief you don't want to feel it and i feel like spirit is trying to say to you um keep protecting your heart because you're not through um it's very difficult i just they said it's very difficult we know it's difficult for you to cry right now you don't want to cry or you don't want to be sad you're trying to keep yourself from like your emotions are trying to take over for a particular thing maybe a particular person a place or a thing or an event or something from before um you're trying to keep yourself like from that coming out in the past you were very guarded but i don't know if like your coin got rusty your shield got rust got rusty and now there's like another opportunity here for you to keep guarding your heart but that's an interesting okay i'm just going to pull a clarifying card on this ace of pentacles what's going on with this wow the four of cups is showing up again yeah Whew. it's like like I don't even know if this is an opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles, but it, this is not an opportunity for new love here right now. This feels like this Four of Cups always represents indifference or apathy to the emotion. Four of Cups and Five of Cups so i feel like your heart you shut your your emotions down um it must be pretty heavy duty what you're feeling that you are just not trying to become overwhelmed 
with your with your feelings about something what happened in the very past what caused Virgo to clam up as much as Virgo did or does or is oh, sorry oh okay king of cups maybe there was someone in the past cancer scorpio pisces uh it doesn't have to be but someone who was um you know came across as very supporting and loving but um uh, well not but but the king of cups whatever sign they are withheld they were emotionally unavailable so withheld their emotions their feelings kept everything very secretive very private um let me see okay huh maybe you were in a relationship with this person or there was something to do with marriage or family this person could have been keeping a relationship private i don't see deceit here i just see um there might have been some lies by omission or there might have been um some withholding Okay, but also that withholding, I feel like whoever this person may have been to you in the past, whatever sign they were, um, they sit with the four of wands. So it feels like this person was in that energy of in the past viewing you as a friend or for some just wanted a reunion could have been um for others wanted to be in like a marital type of relationship but there was nothing no communication there was just what the heck was that oh it sounds like a okay it feels like this this person from the past whatever the situation was between the two of you um they were withholding things what were they withholding yeah the ace of cups the love Okay, so Virgo, what's driving this reading? Like what's driving you right now is you have a need to communicate. You have a need to talk. You have a need to say something. You have a need to have something be made crystal clear to you. You're seeking, uh, what's driving you now this time is you're seeking clarity. Okay, and for others, um, this is just your energy is getting, because sometimes I will say, you'll hear, hear me say, the Queen of Swords. Oh, sorry. Uh, you might have a Libra friend that you are connected to, or there might be a Libra that you need or want to talk to. But it feels like what's driving you is like you need truth. You're, you, you're seeking some kind of truth. Okay. Oh, yeah. Some truth about was there potential or what were you just feeling like mis were you misguided or did you were you not sure i feel like you're looking for some truth it feels like what this was a very passionate connection maybe in the past to some of you um but you're apart from that person you're seeking inspiration like where do i get my inspiration again because i do feel like you have an internal emotional struggle going on here that you're really not trying to address or feel because it's overwhelming it's if there's an energy of grief uh, grief <laughs> there's an energy of grief um maybe some remorse there might be some regret um some of you might be sitting in this position now also asking does this person have remorse or regret um there was a lot of blocking energy there was a lot in the past and now it's like i feel I, so I feel like for July, you're doing what's best for you in terms of not opening up your emotions. I feel um, because it might be just too overwhelming for you to deal with or there might be something going on where you just cannot uh, be in a position right now where you're, to be overly emotional. You're just trying to maintain control of your feelings, even though you are seeking some type of truth. Yeah, there was... You know, I feel like there was something here that you're 
trying to find out if this relationship or this connection has so it had a lot of potential but it was maybe a false start or never got off the ground it caused a lot of anxiety and grief and I feel like you're trying to sort that out figure out well how could something be so wonderful cause so much anxiety and our um, stress okay so what's crowning you again the page of wands this is like you have this desire to maybe to communicate with someone someone maybe that person from the past to talk to them your head it feels like your head is telling you that and it's more so to try to get some truth let me see okay all right they just said some of you are communicating with someone about real estate are thinking about that and I don't know if that has anything to do with this this uh, love connection here for some it's like at this time so your yeah your head is kind of like is it I'm gonna talk to other people uh, for some of you, it's like talking to other people or talking to a particular person or communicating. Um, I feel like you're putting it out there into the world that you are seeking a stable, long-term type of relationship. Um, it could be somebody you're already dealing with here. Um, there's some communication I feel like you're going to be having with uh, somebody, you know, um, a little back and forth saying to someone uh, or asking them where they live or um, asking somebody if they're uh, what they're looking for if they're looking for that ten of pentacles they're uh, and also saying to another person that that's what you're seeking in your life actually ten of pentacles is a virgo card mm -hmm. so this is really coming from you i feel like you're putting it out there that you are Maybe you're going to focus on your retirement more. You're going to focus on your 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 gains, leave some type of a, a legacy in your life. You know, I feel like you're moving on, but the emotional aspect is, is difficult for you. You don't want to feel the hurt and the pain. You're definitely seeking that six of wands. <laughs> your head is like, Whoever I talk to, it feels like you're going to say to who any, anybody that you could be dating or communicating with going forward is, you know, I'm seeking someone who's a winner. Um, that might be like a vocabulary new word that you're starting to use. <laughs> okay, so you definitely are, your headspace and what's driving you in July are two different places. And with that Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you're just trying to protect yourself okay um because you're looking to see if there's any other options the the five of cups just really makes me feel like you know virgo you're kind of like okay i feel sad sometimes but it's it's not really it's not it's not as much of a challenge as it, it can be a benefit so you're kind of like should i should i spend a little bit of time uh, grieving or do I, I feel like a lot of you are just like I don't want to be grieving I don't want to be in this energy I just want this to go so you're a little there's a little bit of conflictedness you know because your one foot is kind of in the past trying to figure out what the heck happened and then your other foot is in the future um, or your thought process looking forward is like okay well let me move on but you're standing here currently with like okay i feel sadness but i'm feeling i'm beginning to feel indifferent and i'm protecting myself and that's happening uh, that's causing me to become more indifferent to um the the whatever if there was devastation or a feeling of loss okay what's coming toward you you've got the two of pentacles all right so this is good there's a decision you're going to be making um you're going to have some options you're going to be weighing let's take a look oh okay the knight of cups so somebody's coming in with a love offer towards the end of july more so um and you're gonna have to make a decision definitely what's sitting in the position of you and your advice is you want a happy happily ever after love family you know um 
uh, to contentment, support. This is what you're looking for. This is what you want. Even if it's like getting married and having children or just remarrying again, or um, just everybody, look how happy everybody here is. You know, and I feel like that's, that's the position of your advice is you should keep seeking that out with either somebody you're with now or somebody new. And, um, and that's where I feel like you're at and that's good. Okay. So this Knight of Cups, like I said, there's some kind of a love offer coming in here. Let me see. Oh, wow. Okay. So real quick. So we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You have Libra and Leo. Okay. And if that resonates for you, great. If not, don't sweat it. Okay. So a very, somebody's coming out into the open to make a love offer to either propose or um, try to engage or um, the Knights can always have something to do with travel. Um, somebody's going to come out and express how they feel about you. It could be that person in the past, whether you were involved with um, whoever you were involved with, it could be that person in the past. Um, or it could be somebody new, but I don't want you to focus on who it is right now. I just want you to know that this is the energy that's coming towards you, but we'll take a look at what's external to you. So the chariot, so there's an, somebody's taking action. There's things changing. Okay. So when I say external to you, this could be people, places, and things, but since we're focusing on a love reading, this would represent change within a person. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay, so we have King of Swords. It's interesting. We have three kings here. So this is representing somebody who's yeah coming in with some truth. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is in movement. Let's see. King of Swords, very strategic. Oh my goodness, if that's not a movement card, this is facing some type of fear. Uh, going towards the light. So this person is making some kind of necessary transition. They could be relocating or moving. Um, and there's going to be some communication about this. They may tell you they have a new vehicle. <laughs> they have a new car. Or they're traveling. Wow, this is interesting. There's a journey. Yep, this person is taking some kind of journey here. Let me see. Okay, two swords. Oh, wow. This person is um, heartbroken. Feels very heartbroken. There was some kind of separation, divorce, or loss, or breakup in their life. The eight of swords. This person is feeling victimized. Or they have like a... Um, they're feeling isolated. They're trying to get out of isolation. Whatever situation that caused them to be in isolation, yeah, they're moving out of this. Here, are they coming? Are they? Is this person coming towards Virgo? Wow. F yes. Oh my gosh. Knight of Pentacles. This is the Virgo card. This is a yes. It's going to be in August. Okay. You are going to get... Um, I don't know if this is the proposal coming from this person. I feel like it is, but I do feel like you're going to have, <laughs> this is, so there could be an offer that comes to you in July, the end of July, but this person actually like physically makes their way towards you in August, sometime between between August 20, between the end of August to the end of September. Okay, there's an action, there's movement. And this person all throughout this entire summer period from June through September, that's their mindset. Okay, are they coming towards you? Yes. Somehow, it's either they're going to make it known. I don't see communication, but it's going to be known. 
that this person is also weighing their options and not weighing their option you and other people but just there's something coming in here from somebody uh, I feel like it's this person either it could be telling you that they love you or they're admiring you so much well wow. okay the temperance of Sagittarius energy so yeah this person is like wow really coming in balanced here patiently patient patiently coming towards you and you Virgo uh, I don't know you're I feel like I feel like you're either gonna be in a position where you're gonna have two choices it doesn't have to be between two people two choices could be yes or no um, mm. now for some it could be coming I will say it could be coming from a Leo. It could also be coming from a Sagittarius, this love message or this admiration and proposal. Now, look, let's take a look at your hopes and fears. You have the tower. So you're hoping that everything could just blow the F up and you can just move on and have a new beginning. Okay, but you're, you're fearing that, that things will just completely be destroyed. But the outcome here, you've got the Queen of Cups and Justice. Okay. Okay, and the moon. So we have Pisces energy. There's something going on here, Virgo, where you're going to make some kind of decision based on your intuition, your gut, and how you really feel. Like how you really feel about things or about a particular person. It's right. So the Justice card. Hmm. This could be also a card of marriage, like a legal type of a, not like a religious marriage, but a, a legal type of marriage. I feel like you're going to tell some truth to somebody as well in the outcome about how you feel. And, and I feel like in July, it's kind of like you don't want to tell somebody you feel sad or you're grieving something. You're just trying to show indifference in that, you know, oh, I've got these opportunities happening in my life. Maybe I'm, I have a new job or, you know, I've got a promotion or, you know, sh you're kind of showing yourself like, you know, like all about your coin, all about your pinnacle. But underneath, you've got like this lava of emotion that you're trying to keep dormant. But I do feel like you're going to come out at the end here and actually get an opportunity to try to make things right. And for some of you, it's going to be that you have left the scene of the crime, that you have moved on with the world, that you this cycle is completed. You don't want someone back from the past, you know, um, or you're traveling. You've learned the lesson. You've reached the goal when it comes to how you feel about somebody and there's no hate there's no anger you're just going to be very selective with what emotions you share to someone or with a particular person okay and for others you're not going to have this communication with this person you're going it's going to come you're going to have that talk with yourself the little bit of self-talk about what you truly want and what you truly need so all right, let me just get a couple of island messages here for you. Let's see what these messages are. Okay, hammer. Rebuilding. Interrogation. <laughs> Persistent working on it. Okay, this is like rebuilding. Okay, something that maybe was destroyed. Maybe it was your heart or a relationship. Some are going to try to maybe rebuild a relationship or just begin to speak from your heart. And others um, are just going to keep rebuilding self. Okay. But there is somebody here coming in who's in that energy, wants to work on a partnership or rebuild something or keep building something with you. Okay. It's a karmic relationship. Wow. I don't think I've ever gotten this card. Fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving yourself so for some of you you're already like maybe trying to figure out if it was a karmic um it feels like and it's not all of you 
okay but if this if you're like shaking your head saying yes that's what this was then this is your message okay um you're in healing you know virgo as a caveat i want to say well not a caveat i guess maybe i want to just say as a as a tip karmic relationships big ug they are hard to heal from but you can heal from them and if that's what you were in in the past or at least if you can't determine for yourself that's what it that might just have been what it felt like however however something is changing here something is changing with another person okay soulmate partnership agreement soul contract soul connection um somebody is taking responsibility or accountability for either causing some kind of heartbreak or now this person is in this position of feeling an actual loss or a heartbreak so are they going to come towards you yeah it's going to be a while okay it's going to be slow you know um and i know some of you are just like well number one i don't want that person back moving on to new um and you may have some new uh showing up here and for others um you just don't want to wait that long and for others that you're like that'll give me some time to collect myself and figure out what i want to do okay because there's some of you who you know may still be holding on um we're not here to really a judge but i'm going to tell you you know if you were in um a relationship that was just causing a lot of turmoil um and you were feeling like alone with someone um because they were withdrawing or they weren't they were, had an emotional unavailability some of you maybe that person had that and then you became that way you stopped sharing your feelings because somebody wasn't sharing theirs or virgo for some of you you just came in with um some virgos as we know um virgo when virgo really trusts and feels safe with someone then then virgo will open themselves up okay but i feel like it was both for some of you it does feel like both of you neither one of you were able to make each other really feel safe um and that's sometimes that just happens um and for some reason it feels like something just never truly got off the ground to the position where maybe either you or they or both of you might have wanted and then it became toxic or it became karmic so the story continues virgo the story continues as usual let me just get a couple of chinese signs so we can see maybe if we can get a little more information on who this person might be okay year of the ox year of the pig year of the monkey all right year of the rooster year of the dragon year of the rat oh rat twice two rats two roosters year of the tiger and year of the snake okay so that's either you or it's you, your person or it's both of you or it's none of you and that's fine don't sweat that too much let me get a charm for you and see what your charm messages are here oh you know what they just said okay okay we have an elephant oh Virgo I love when you get the fox that's always your oh and then we have some musical notes I think this video is going to go a little bit longer so somebody thinks you're super super foxy right now somebody's somebody's looking at you and feeling like you're very foxy this person could there's music around you somewhere or there's a musical music attachment to you and this or to this person okay and we also have um hmm a red diamond so that to me feels like earth lava hot molten 
Yeah. Virgo, you're underneath, like you're very, you're like a volcano, a dormant volcano. You know, it's like you have all this hot, molten, passionate energy that's deep inside of you, but you don't really, ex you don't explode that you maybe drip that sometimes but you are very reserved and i feel like that's your energy in the month of july like your passions um you're, you're you you sit there like with the the game controller about okay i'm not gonna let my passions overtake me at this time i'm gonna be i'm gonna subdue them keep control of myself you have very strong self-discipline when it comes to your emotions um, and that might be building up and you might be needing to let some of that go in July. Um, and then you've got an elephant here. So this, they're just telling me that they gave me the phrase elephant in the room. There's an elephant in the room and, and nobody's saying anything. Nobody's saying anything right now. It's, it's just, we're just going to dance around it. And so, uh, we're not going to talk about what stays in, in, we don't talk about fight club. That's what I just heard. We're not saying anything here. Okay. Um, now that, that doesn't, that's not predictive of something like that happening. I just feel like that's the energy right now. It might be you. Like there's this big fat elephant in the room and you're uncomfortable and you're just trying to like get through your days and just you know keep it cool keep it calm be copacetic everything's fine nope everything's fine but deep down inside it, it something feels uncomfortable for you that and you don't really want to talk about it but you do want clarity so you're trying to find a way to get that without disturbing that elephant okay it's very interesting, Virgo. Your messages are always a little different. Um, all right, they just said I wanted to get some emotional messages on this person who's trying to come. And if this is somebody new who's trying to come in, well, we'll take a look and see. No, this is okay. Okay, sometimes I stay awake. Oh, somebody's got you on their mind, Virgo. They're obsessed with you. They have obsessive thoughts in concern. In concern. I look for you everywhere. Somebody's looking for you. And really, they can only see you in their mind. They're obsessively thinking about you and looking for you. Okay? There might be... This person might not have a way to see you. I don't know what exactly that could be. For some of you, it could be on social media. For others, it could be um, just you haven't come out of your freaking house for days. I don't know. But somebody's looking for you everywhere. They're going to places you used to go to before, hoping to bump into you. Um, yeah, that's weird. Okay. I feel you leaving me behind. Okay, that's that heartbreak. Whoever this person is, that's that heartbreak. That Whatever this, they're getting out of that and coming towards you very slowly. Okay. Um, and the reason they're coming slowly, they're tiptoeing, is because they're not sure if you would be interested. Okay. I can tell you, so for some of you, like I said, this could be like two people coming in where you're going to have, you're going to have to weigh some options, but I feel, I, I don't want to go too deep into exactly who it is. I know whoever is external to you here. An actual person is coming in to make a tangible offer, but I can tell you there is love. You are being admired towards like, like the middle to close to the end of July. You're like wowing 
uh, you're, you're just getting a lot of admiration or, you know, either people or a person in particular is like falling in love with you. Okay. Okay. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So somebody, I feel like somebody here is unblocking whatever those obstacles. There were some type of obstacles. And one, oh, okay. This just flew out. Awakening. Someone is undergoing spiritual transformation. They know they messed up everything. And I guess that might be, it, it may not. So it just feels like somebody's taking accountability or responsibility for something. Okay. Even if they're just coming back in with an apology, whether you want it or not, it's up to you. But there's definitely, there's definitely going to be. So here's the weird thing. Is it a reconciliation? I feel like in some regards, yes, because we did see the Six of Pentacles. But it doesn't mean that it's... It just means somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to connect with you, this person. Like I said. So they're showing up here with this King of Swords energy. Okay? Whoever they are, they're showing up with strategic planning they're showing up with good intention here okay being very thoughtful and strategic in the words that they're going to use okay so yeah i'm going to leave that reading there because i kind of felt like you know what you guys i'm actually going to go into the extended here because i want to see um, this person coming in to make an offer, is this the one that's coming in with this Knight of Cups? I do feel like it is. Um, coming towards you. But I want to get a little bit more clarity. For some of you, it's already clear. It's a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And for those of you who weren't dealing with that, we'll go into the extended to get a little more clarity to see exactly who that is okay the link will be below the video so if you're interested it's only eleven dollars and eleven cents all right you guys so awesome to see you and i will catch up with you all tomorrow okay take care